Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how to go live to a page inside of Facebook using Live Pigeon. So let's get into it. So I've already connected to Facebook and now I'm gonna go ahead and click the schedule button. From here, I'm gonna just choose the time that I wanna go live. So let's say I wanna go live on Tuesday at, in fact, let's just make this 2 p.m. And right here, I have the show schedule notification button and it's actually turned on. Now, what this does is this will notify everybody on your newsfeed that you're planning on going live. So you might want that. And that's why naturally we just have that turned on. If you're trying to do it where you're scheduling a lot of videos, let's say like a week's worth of videos all at one time, you might want to turn that off just so that your newsfeed isn't just getting filled up with all the times that you're going to plan on going live. So there's two ways to get around this. One is schedule every single day. Um, just coming into here and actually just scheduling out the post and then turning on that notification if that's what you want people to do. But if you're trying to do a week's worth, what I would recommend is turning that off and then it's kind of more stealth mode where you know, you'll know you just go live and people will still be notified. Um, they just won't see that the card ahead of time in their newsfeed that you're planning on going live. So for this example, we're actually going to go ahead and leave that turned on. And I'm also going to turn on use a custom thumbnail. Um, if you don't do a custom thumbnail, it's going to automatically just generate one that might be like uh, just on your Facebook page, and it might not be an image that you actually want. I've seen sometimes like where it's just people's torsos. <laughs> and so it might not be what you're looking for. So I actually like to come in here and choose a thumbnail. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just choose this one right here. That looks great. And then what else is cool is I can easily just click and move this around and size it the way that I want. And then once I get it to the place that I want, I can go ahead and just click save. All right, so now that I've done that, we've chosen the date, we've chosen the time, and a custom thumbnail. Now we're just going to go ahead and click schedule. From here, we're going to fill out our title and description. After we've filled out our title and description, we're going to go ahead and click next. Now, this is our number one question we get asked all the time, which is, okay, I connected my Facebook account, but... I don't want it to go live to my personal profile. Like, how do I choose my business page? Well, that's what this step is. Step number three, we actually get to choose where you want to go live. So watch this. I can actually click inside this ad destination bar. And what I really like about this is being able to just type in page and then all your pages then display. So then I can come down here choose the page that I want to go live to. If for some reason you don't see a page inside of here that you've maybe recently added, what I want you to do is go over here and press the refresh pages and groups button. The other thing is if you do run into anything where, you know, something isn't displaying right, like reach out to us. Our contact info is at the bottom. We want to make sure that we can walk you step by step through this process in case you are hung up so that you can have success in going live to Facebook. So now that I've added my page, I'm just going to go ahead and click the next button. The other thing too to point out, feel free to continue to add more pages or more destinations that you want to go live to. For this example, I just chose one, but we don't limit you on the amount that you do want to go live to. So feel free to add other places if you so desire. Now, this is the fourth and final step. What I like about this is this is giving you the ability to upload from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, and the fourth option here, which is the incubator. And we're going to get into this a little bit later. But what I like about the incubator is for the sake of time, I can actually click this. And these are videos that I've already uploaded so that you don't have to sit there and wait for me to upload videos like we used to do in our old tutorials. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on this video here. And just like that, you guys, success. Your pigeon has been successfully scheduled. So this, we have a blue box indicating Facebook. Uh, we also show that it's going to be departing in 23 hours and 48 minutes um, and that it's going to be departing at 2 p.m., which is great. If anything doesn't look right, feel free to edit it. 
Um, if you want, what I always like to make sure is go ahead and click on the image that's inside of the post here. And this will actually open up Facebook and take us to the page that we're planning on going live to. Now, the thing is, if you come here to your page and you don't actually see your video on the page, sometimes you have to scroll down. Like we have a pinned post here. You can keep scrolling down. Okay, there it is. If it wasn't there, uh, refresh the page and then see if that will do it. Sometimes uh, Facebook will, will have like a cache where it won't just auto be updating the page unless you click refresh. So just wanted to point that out to you in case uh, you run into that. So here it is, you guys. I'm planning on going live tomorrow and it looks like uh, everything is there. Everything's working fine. So let's jump back to Live Pigeon. And again, just verifying that everything is here. I've clicked on the image to make sure that, that the connection to Facebook worked. I'm making sure that the time looks good, the description, everything is there. Now that we've done that, let's jump over into the incubator and talk about what the incubator is. Now the incubator is your video library. The nice thing about this is you can upload two or three videos at a time and they're just going to be in here ready to go when you want to schedule your videos, which is really nice. Now, there's one thing to point out. We actually don't host your videos indefinitely. Um, Facebook has a seven-day limitation, and so because of that, we actually have set your videos to be removed out of the incubator if they haven't been scheduled within that seven days. So just wanted to point that out. And we do that because once your video goes live onto Facebook, they do the hosting of the video file over there. Um, and then that helps us so that we don't have these huge files that we're then storing uh, for all of our customers. So just wanted to point that out. The other thing I wanted to point out is at the bottom of the screen, we've got our phone number and we have our email. We also even have this chat button in the bottom as well. Please feel free to reach out to us if you run into anything. If we didn't cover anything in this video, first off, put a comment in down below if you have any additional questions. The other thing I wanted to talk about is if you did run into something, we want to make sure that you feel like you can reach out to us because we want to hear from you. Uh, we want to be able to help you through the process. If any point throughout this you get stuck or if anything comes up, let us know. We're here to help you and we want to make sure that you feel that. Again, my name is Brandon, and I cannot wait to be able to continue to keep serving you using Live Pigeon. And until next time.